Tom Breeze versus David Ramirez in the middleweight division. It's a historic moment. This will be crowned the first ever full LFL champion. And there it is. There's that beautiful piece of silverware. It is beautiful. It really is. You know, LFL is a wonderful show, and and Dom, our leader, is one of these leaders who doesn't want to be on TV talking and getting all the credit, but man, he does a beautiful job of bringing these guys together. Yeah, just a full, wonderful, uniting presence for the whole organization. So this will be fantastic. This will be fascinating to watch how Tom Brees deals with this. What, what do you take of the fact that he's got knee pads and uh, yeah, ankle support? On? Sometimes. That is for grappling. It'll allow you to clinch and grapple and play guard and entangle your own feet. And sometimes, you know, sometimes it's for style. Uh, but yeah, it's a really good question. My guess would be to play guard if, if it comes to that. When, the, when uh, Ramirez came in for the thigh, he just sat back to this. That suggests to me that he wants to grapple. It wasn't quite, you could call it sitting to guard, but he literally just sort of accepted it and sat. See his legs, he's triangled that leg. So he's gonna look to move to the back. Watch his left hand playing with the ankle there. Can, his right hand moving around now to push off the head. He'll end up on the back here if he takes his time. Yeah, he, Breeze is looking very methodical Ooh. and calm here. Strategic, very smart. Let me say, if I was David Ramirez, I would not want to be in that position. His arm is also tangled. So now Tom has right arm and right leg triangled together. Let me thank my friend Dennis <laughs> Corman for bringing me a Heineken for the main event. Very thoughtful, sir. <laughs> Wonderful ambassador of, of Dutch martial arts. And this is just going to be tiring work for Ramirez here, just with Breeze's weight on top of him. And again, there you go, Robin. As you said, it looks like he's trying to shift over into taking that back. But he has the back and the arm, and, well, the leg is really gone now. But So Ramirez is keeping that. The, Ramirez's right arm, he's committed to keeping it on the thigh there. Um, at some point, he's going to want to give that, that up. Because there's also a triangle that Tom can make here. Tom's going to attack the left arm in an armbar or a kimura, or he's going to create an inverted triangle here. They're all in play already. Yeah, and he's got his feet. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you know, good on David Ramirez. He's, he's closer, that little shift. He's a little closer to shifting Tom, but Tom can come up with that kimura or armbar. It's a really, well... It's kind of an inverted triangle already, actually. Now it is. God, it's a dicey game. That and now he's, he's yeah. yeah, he's very got arm. Cool. So he'll rotate through. Now the arm, the triangle is gone, of course. The head is out, but he has that arm. Good for Ramirez. Yeah, good he fun. fought through some wild times, and he ends up in cross side. <laughs> not a position yet. I, I did not see the fight going like this to begin with, but. Again, a little fascinating grappling match. So the, the, the success of Ramirez ending up here is owed to as much as anything to patience. There was a lot of things that could have gone wrong there if he made the wrong move, and so he stayed patient. And I'd be interested to see Tom Breeze again and being very relaxed here. Yes. Is he just biding his time, do you think, until he can find an escape? So he's going to scoop that leg and just drag it across. So see, he's reached over. Mm -hmm. If he can just get the knee above his thigh, he'll just sort of scoop it over into kind of a, a half guard or a lockdown position. It's not there yet, but... But he's aware of it and he's waiting until the moment to strike and take and move in that position. Yeah. Tom's also taking zero damage. Something Andy pointed out in the stats, you know, he's, he, well, look at the shoulder pressure from Ramirez. Yeah, a little, little whack. It's not going to end a fight, but, you know, it's going to remind Tom that he's in one, and Ramirez is going to look to advance here. Good stuff from David Ramirez. Yeah. Very much so, being controlled. But there we go, Breeze showing his yeah. experience. Straight and looking for a triangle. Yeah. yeah, and there's the omoplata, and there's the triangle. And there's oh. the, yep. And then got out yeah. back into side control. Very clever. Very, very good stuff. Ramirez having an excellent round, responding to some legitimate threats early, and then some, you know, slightly more hit, uh, tossed up, and, and I, I don't want to say panicked, but Breeze didn't have those there, and he was trying to force them. And in the mirrors into mount. It forces Breeze to move, and of course he does. 
and see if he can catch a leg or anything here. Fascinating work. Both fighters seeming very calm in these, these situations. Neither of them panicking, neither of them pushing too Breeze hard of a pace. Looking to stand up, and Ramirez advances to sort of a, almost a three quarters mount, really a half mount or a half guard more so, with a foot in, an elevator foot in. Yeah. And there we go, a tough round to score there, Andy. Uh, yeah, you got that right. I, I certainly didn't expect to see uh, this fight open up this way. Yeah, difficult to say, difficult to say. Uh, I would say maybe David Ramirez, but uh, look, it could, it could go either yeah. way. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, with these situations, often if the referees are on the fence, the last thing you remember is how the round ended. Yeah, that's true. And we've got our sponsor videos here by Black Bananas. Let's have a little let's have a look at what we've done about highlights Watch, so sits. far. He literally sits with control of the pelvis, and then here he's got both arm and leg. And Ramirez stays super patient and ends up on top with some threats. You know, Tom Breeze, something about the way he experiences combat, he likes to de-escalate the intensity. And so he's getting that here. He's in a grappling match. You know, he's in a grappling match. And yeah. so in round one, he created more of a contest and less of a fight. And I think that suits him psychologically. It does. Well, now you've gone one round of someone who uh, was in the UFC. And that has a big psychological, it must have a big psychological boon. <laughs> Some of that capoeira from Ramirez coming in. Ramirez being very, very smart. So, same approach again. Yeah, and so he sits to it to the same position. Now, Andy just sort of whispered something to me. And, and Andy, it's not something we need to keep secret because the fight is on now. Tell us. All right, so. Uh, first of all, uh, at the beginning of the round, you know, you mentioned Tom's uh, knee, knee wrap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's a reason for this. Tom actually went into this fight with a pretty serious knee injury um, where his meniscus was uh, damaged, let's yeah. say. Let's, um, oh, we yeah. So, so let me add this quickly. Mm -hmm. If you had a damaged, say, left meniscus, you know what would be a good way to hide it? Tape everything. Right? Put a pad on everything. Exactly. So that way you're not giving away. But this is a finishing this, position now. Yeah, with the arm Ramirez class. is taking. And Tom Breeze there, looking for the rear naked, looking to open it up. Oh. Yeah, he's he's going to try to slide his hand in. Now Ramirez fights it. Ramirez did a very good job. So Tom has a body triangle with the right arm trapped in it. He can literally spend three minutes and 45 seconds hammer fisting from this position if he can just get himself into a nice spot to hit. Or now, see, one arm, there's only one arm. He's got his right hand on the shoulder. He can complete yeah. this choke with one hand. It's Let's not see, it's he does it's one done. Hand. We have our first ever LFL champion. Oh, yeah, we have our first ever yeah. LFL champion crowned. Tom Breeze. So super sick, super sick. We're gonna see replays, but when you do, you'll watch the, the triangle of the, of the legs traps Ramirez's right arm. Then you'll see Tom Breeze's left arm controls uh, Ramirez's left arm. That frees Tom with a single right hand free. He'll take his right hand, attach it to the shoulder, and then and then submit from there. Let's let's hopefully we'll get a look at this. We sponsored should. by Black Banana. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, here it is. So watch Tom's body triangle, and we'll see some other things, I'm sure. Yeah. So he's working from the, the position of trapping both arm and leg, and he's doing damage from here. When you see the choke position, watch the, the triangle tra has trapped the right arm, and Tom's left hand controls the left arm. Right there, see? And Tom's right hand is now attached to the, sh the ball of the shoulder, and he can choke from that position. Send me this video immediately. We're gonna make a one minute breakdown for Monday morning. That was a sick finish. A one-armed rear naked choke by Tom Breeze to win the title. Fascinating as well how we just saw that beginning part of the fight. Ramirez shot for the same position, first time. You know, Breeze was a little bit uncertain about what was going on. Second time, Ramirez did the same thing. Breeze had the answer for it. But let's head over now to Tom for the fight announcement and the belt presentation for LFL's first ever champion. Well, fighters, to the center of the ring, please. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, big and big applause for these two athletes, David Ramirez and Tom Breeze. When the winner and LFL champion in the middleweight division, ladies and gentlemen, 
is the man in the red corner, Tom Breeze. Tom Breeze, ladies and gentlemen. Tom Breeze, middleweight, levels fight league champion. Tom, how about a one-handed beer naked choke for the win? Yes, yes. I score a lot of those in the gym, you know. I know the finishing mechanics well, so, yeah. Body triangle traps my one arm. Your hand traps the other. Choke with this one. Yes, exactly. Had his arm tied up. Retracts him with the elbow, hiding my thumb line, you know. I know you, we didn't talk about it until after the fight, but I know you came in here with a pretty serious knee injury. Very smart to tape everything so he couldn't guess. Tell us about that. Yeah, I, 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 I tore my meniscus three weeks ago, so, you know, I just had to slow down a bit of training and, you know, it was causing me a bit of stress, but, you know, I'll come in and, and got the job done and I'm proud of, proud of myself for doing so. You should be proud, man. Uh, tell me about the process of walking out here and coming in here tonight and keeping your head right to have a good performance. Yeah, it's just staying calm, you know. I was, had a good warm up with my teammates. My teammates helped me out a lot, you know, and uh, it's a brilliant setup here. I, I had a great fun fighting on this event and uh, I look forward to coming back. Well, you're the LFL champion now, so we're going to need you to be back. Thank, take the second, thank anybody you like. Again, congratulations on a beautiful submission, man. I respect, thank you. Uh, just thanks to my, to, my, to my team. Thank you for Donovan for having me on. Team Renegade, let's go. Tom Breeze, your LFL champion. Congratulations, Tom. Tom Breeze, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely fantastic, Andy. What an event. Exactly, exactly. Listen, I'm just so happy we got to witness it here live. Uh, yeah, I had a lot of ups, had a lot of downs, had a lot of exciting moments. Let's see where it takes us from here. Yeah, from start to finish. So everyone at home, make sure you go on to LFL MMA. That's all on social, your Instagram, your Twitter, and also LFLMMA.com.